Hello everyone, Miss Gretchen with Rubies and Moonstones. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you like it here and will consider subscribing. And if you are returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for continuing to support my channel. I really do greatly appreciate each and every one of you, so thank you so much. So instead of doing a usual unboxing with you, I am just going to immediately jump to showing you the canvas and I am going to kind of do this in pieces along the way, show you the canvas completely blank and then show you different chunks as I work on it until we get it completed. Um, so this is Lost With You by Richard Lorenz. It's an incredibly large canvas. It's 54 by 20 inches or 137 by 50.8 centimeters produced by Diamond Art Club, of course. There are a total of 112,200 drills on this canvas. It is a square drilled canvas. Um, I originally kitted this up on May 3rd and 4th as I do large kit up sessions where I kit up several projects at once and then kit down several projects at once. Um, and that way I only have to get everything out for the kitting up and kitting down process at one time. And then when I finish a canvas, I can just pull the next one out and start working. So that is where I am at and it is time to start working on Lost With You and I'm really excited to get to it because I need more birds on my wall and he has a few that are very long lengthwise like this and I don't have one of these completed yet so I'm really excited to do one and then to uh, frame it using my poster board method which if you haven't seen that I will insert um, a link to that in the description box as well as in the eye in the um, upper right corner of this video so that you can see that but um yes so we are going to be doing lost with you by richard lorenz next um so just looking at the canvas a little bit we have a lot of the greenery of course in the background because the birds are hanging out in the trees a couple of signs we have the wrong way sign and then a no u-turn sign and then of course the main couple on the piece our lovely lovebirds here. I just love both of their headpieces. I love her flowers in her hat and her retro red glasses and I love his funky hat as well. He looks a little disheveled and I just love that. They have a map here of course with an X on it and I also love that they're both wearing wedding rings. I think that's so cute. So here is hers and his is over there as well. She also has a little bit of nail polish on her nails as well. And then when we look over to this side with the extension of his wing, we have a few more signs for Cuckoo's Nest, Raven's Rest, and I'm not exactly sure what the last one says. Bird's Eve something, I'm not sure, we'll have to see. And then of course the, the writing that goes with this piece, then it says, my right, your left, lost with you babe is still the best. So since I have already kitted this up, we are not going to go through all of the baggies like a typical unboxing, but we're just going to take a look at all of the colors as they are in the Elizabeth Ward style container. So you can kind of see how much there is of each color in that manner. So there are four ABs and one fairy dust. So we have this green AB number 100, number 114 for the red AB, 129 for a yellow AB, and then just a small amount of the white one, 141. Finishing off with that fairy dust, that peachy fairy dust color. I love that color. Since you are going to be kind of following along with me, um, when I do check-ins, I will point out where I have inserted some of the ABs. So, all right, it is time to actually get some drills laid on this. I am going to work on it in this manner. I'm going to roll up that end and for some reason, I feel like I need to work from left to right. So I am going to start on this end and then I will work my way down the piece. And I'm just gonna let the completed section fall off the end of my table until I get all the way down to the bottom. So that is my plan. And then this is going to be a beautiful piece of art for me to hang on my wall. Okay, I will check in with you guys very soon.
All right, so I just thought this would be a good place to do a little bit of a check-in. As you can see, I've gotten all of this greenery done on the far left side of the canvas. And I'm about to get to the signs. But I've started working on this a little bit different. Um, so instead of just working on a square at a time, I'm working the entire row. And then that way, I only have to get out each color one time for that entire row. So I'm working in really, really big sections. Um, I've done that on smaller canvases and on like my Mandy Manzano's where I do all of the black first, but I haven't done it on something like this, but there are large chunks of the same color. And so I'm hoping that that's going to help me be able to put this together a little bit faster, but I'm really excited to finally get just kind of all of this plain greenery done that's on the edge and get into some of the more detailed parts of the canvas including the signs, but then, you know, now I'm going to be able to see that, that the bird, the female bird is, is coming up very soon. So I will have that to look forward to as well and making that progress. Um, and so just as a reminder, this is only 50 centimeters across. If this was larger than that like if, if this was a canvas that was 100 centimeters across or 80 centimeters across I don't know if I would do that where I'm just going to do the whole row at once but since it is a shorter width it doesn't even go all the way across my light pad um, and I have an A2 light pad then I know that I'm going to be able to get all of that completed in a relatively decent period of time. I can't get it all done in one day or one sitting by any means, but I just use the plastic to recover the areas that I haven't finished. And then I come back down and finish working on it. So, so yeah, so this is how far I have gotten and I am very much looking forward to continuing and getting into the signs and definitely really excited to see the birds come to life when I get to that section. All right, I will check in with you guys in a little bit. All right, thought it was time to just do a quick check-in as I have completed another row. As you can see, I do not have these two signs done, so I purposefully left them undone and just did all of the drills surrounding them so that I could just come in and do the two signs because they have a lot of similar colors and then hopefully I could just kind of get them done a little bit faster by not having to uh, switch things out so much and you know change my colors quite as often so so that's my plan is to come in and do these two signs next which will be great I did want to point out to you a little issue that I did have which was down here in this section where I do not have any drills yet and you can see this is my line here right now um, so I will zoom you into that section all right so um, sorry it's a kind of a weird angle but when I got to this section I did not have any glue where these A's are um, and for some of these three, so pretty much where my fingers are not covering, there was no glue. I double, triple, quadruple checked to make sure that it wasn't because there was any um, of the plastic covering on it and all of that good stuff. And it was definitely not that there would just happen to be absolutely no glue there. So I needed to apply some adhesive to make this sticky again so that I could, you know, put my drills down. Um, so first of all, I very sillily, I, I knew that I had bought the Diamond Art Club adhesive. And so I reached into my drawer and pulled it out and applied it or so I thought, but instead of applying the adhesive, 
I applied this sealant that I bought a long time ago um, at the beginning of my diamond painting days. And so I put this on and I did it and I'm like, it, there's no glue now everywhere, you know, cause I had to put it through this whole area and it even kind of went down into this area down here, um, which I guess you can't even see that. Uh, but it even went down into this area down here. And so then it's like, well, why do I not have any glue now in this entire area? Finally went and actually looked at the box and this is what I put down instead. Ah, oh, one of those, I could pull out my hair moments. So then I finally found the actual adhesive I wanted, which is the Diamond Art Club Diamond Painting Adhesive um, and pulled this out. And it comes with this little applicator. You're supposed to be able to squeeze it out through the top of this. However, I could not get the glue to go um, come out of that top and it looks like it should be open, but it wasn't, it wasn't working. I don't know. Maybe I do need to punch a hole through it or something, but I just, um, unscrewed the lid and dipped this in cause I knew that I didn't need a lot of adhesive anyway, and then spread it over this entire area that I ended up making the entire area unsticky on accident and, um, spread it around in this area too. I accidentally got some on some of the surrounding drills and I think that that is just likely going to happen um, when you are doing this, when you find just kind of one spot that needs it to be done, especially because this is so large and I needed to get it into these little cracks and stuff. Um, I needed to get it in there and especially these three A's in a row there, etc. Uh, so because I got it on top of some of these drills, what I did is as immediately, as soon as I was done applying it, I just grabbed one of my baby wipes that is just made with water. I, I believe they're called water wipes. And I grabbed one of those and just rubbed it across the tops of all of these surrounding drills. And I mean, you can't see it. They are not sticky. So that worked to get it off. And in fact, that is what um, Diamond Art Club's box of instructions says is if you get it onto an area that you don't want it to immediately remove it with water. So that's why I use that uh, baby wipe. So that seemed to work. And now there we can hear it. It's sticky again. So I am going to come in and lay down those drills so that this section is done. And then I am going to complete these signs i am so excited to get the signs completed this is her wing and that is fun to see that come together but after i get the signs done then i get to start working on her and i'm thinking of working in kind of a huge chunk um of maybe i'm gonna zoom out a little bit more maybe even doing my line all the way down here and doing like this entire chunk and then this entire chunk and then that's how I'm thinking about completing it right now, but we'll see. I just, I, I really prefer being able to work these color blocked sections and work with the same colors as much as possible. Um, and I would love to not have to like break up her face and just get to do all of her glasses and beak and the entire map at the same time and all that good stuff. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'll let you know when I come back and talk to you about it in a few seconds. So, all right. So I guess, yeah, we'll see you in a couple seconds. All right. So this may be my last check-in that I do with you before I actually complete the painting because I'm about halfway. Um, you can see since we talked last time, I have completed the two signs and those turned out quite nicely. And then you can see her feathers starting here and I have her done and I just oh I, I love actually seeing a piece come together like this and how she just pops off the page especially in comparison to him I still think that Diamond Art Club's renderings are amazing and how this looks without drills is really great but then man you put those drills on and wow 
So I am loving her. There is one little white AB right here for like the diamond on her ring. Um, but that's it for her ring. I love the paint on her toes. I love her glasses and I mean, and her hat. And I guess we can get into that more at the end, but, um, this is like an entire color blocked section of the yellow ABs. It was so, ugh, to, I, I think that it looks really pretty when it's all done, but man, it's so time consuming to do, um, you know, it shouldn't take that long to do a color blocked section like this. And I think that it took me about two hours to fill in these colors. And that's counting the fairy dust that's in here too. But most of my struggle was with the ABs. And I'm even using, I use Randa's Crafty Corner Putty. And I use that in my multi-placers to place the ABs. And especially if it's not fresh, I don't have a lot of problems with it, but it's still difficult sometimes. Sometimes the drills will still stick to the putty and then the putty seems to get dirtier and it just, it's just harder. Um, but it's still a lot faster than trying to single place the entire thing. I do use my glue dots and my single placers and that works really great and it does not pull the iridescent coating off the top. So, so that was a pain to complete and I am just glad that it is done. But I did, I did do this entire chunk. You know, my row was about here and then I did this part with her hat and then I did this part um, and I left the map undone and then I came and did this part and filled in her feet and the stick and the map and then did this solid color blocking. I probably should have done the opposite, but I just knew my putty would be better if I waited to the end for the, these ABs. And I think that that is helping to save some time. I don't know if that's the best recommendation for how to diamond paint. Um, and it's not how I typically do things, but like I said before, just because this is so short um, lengthwise, it kind of makes sense to find a place that has a lot of similar colors and do it all at once. So I am thinking about doing an even larger section here. Once I get him done, that's going to be really fun. And then his wing expands way out here. And then we get into just the signs and the wording on the edge. And I'm also debating on filling in these words or not. I am not a huge fan of writing in my diamond painting like this. It's one thing to have it on signs. It's another thing to have it here. And I know that it's something that Richard Lorenz typically does. But since this is a square drilled canvas, I have the option to remove it. Oh, I'm thinking of removing it on this one too and just filling in with the same shades of colors that are within the background. So I'm still thinking on that. We'll see what happens when I actually get that far. So yeah, so I am trying to decide exactly how far of a section to make this. The more that I'm thinking about it as I talk with you, I am thinking I am just going to section it off here. But this is why I think that this will likely be my last video um, because I want to save the rest of the completion for you to see him and her together for the end when I do the post review. So, but I did want to share with you um, how it has been going working in these large chunks. Um, I should have plotted out how much time it spent me to do the entire thing. But just doing this section like I did, like I said, it was the map and her feet and things like that. This whole thing um, took me about four and a half hours to do. 
So I don't think that that's that bad. There were a lot of color changes in here. Um, and then this is a big area to cover. And that way it was, I only had to get out all of those colors one time. And same thing with these two signs. I just think it helps save time to only get my colors out and put them, pour them in a tray once. Go put them on a bunch of symbols and, um, and move on. All right. Well, hopefully the next time we chat, it will be done. And it is done. And I could not love this anymore. It is so incredibly cute. I know the last time that you saw it, I had only completed her. And so of course now her entire headpiece is done and I love her purple flowers and I love her glasses, like I said. And then look at him, his huge beak is just the cutest. His hat has so much character. He has a wedding ring with one white AB in it there as well. And he is just, it's, it's so cute how he has his wing like going behind her. Like he's holding, has his arm wrapped around her, which I think is incredibly cute. And then the wings just span out so far. And that is what makes it such a large piece. And so then over here, as you can see, we have the signs, which now I can make out. Cuckoo's Nest, Raven's Rest, Bird's Eve Lodge. I believe that's what this part says. It's a little bit covered up, but I think it's Bird's Eve Lodge. And so that is super cute. And then we've got this whole pole holding up all of those signs. There's just little things that pop out that I don't notice when I am looking at the uh, original drill field without any drills, right? So that was one of them. And then if you look at all of the tree space over here on the end, you will see that I did in fact decide to cover up all of that wording. And so as I tried to explain, I just matched the colors that were behind it and took a guess and filled in those patches. And I think that I did pretty good. You can't really tell that they were supposed to be there, especially since it was a light color. It was actually supposed to be that fairy dust color. So, so I have realized that this video is getting incredibly long. It's a new way to try and do a post review with you by sharing the entire process and my thoughts behind it as I have been completing it. One of the major differences when completing this canvas from any other canvas that I have done is the incredibly large sections that I used. I know that I have already talked about that, so I, I don't wanna put a lot of time and emphasis into it now, um, but I did continue to work in really large sections and I do feel like that did help me save time in the long run. Um, so this one has 112,000 drills on it and I finished it in 84 and a half hours and over just 17 days. If you compare that to the information from when I completed Magic Roses that has like 136,000 drills and it took me about 26 or 28 days or something like that, um, I did the math and this one definitely went faster. And I don't know, Magic Roses did have more confetti to it maybe where this one had more color blocking and I really love Richard Lorenz, but I really think it was working in those larger sections. However, I would not do that if I did not have the time that I have available to me this summer while I am on summer break. Otherwise, my glue could be exposed for longer periods of time and not remain sticky. So if that is not an option for you, then I would not work in large sections like that. But I, I really enjoyed being able to handle them in that way. Um, I did run into one other spot where I did not have enough stick and I had to put down more of that adhesive. I can't remember exactly where it was at the moment, but I cannot say with 100% certainty that that was not my fault from leaving the area exposed for too long because it was a large area that I was working on. I thought that I would have the time to work on it. Things happened and I didn't have the time to just concentrate on that entire large area. It took me longer to complete than I thought. I thought I checked for to make sure the entire area was sticky before I worked, but 
you know, you can only tap your finger over so many areas when you are working in such a large section. So I don't know. Um, absolutely love this piece. Cannot wait to try and figure out how to get it um, onto my wall. I will be putting this on a foam board and using that dry mounting method I created. Um, so I think that I'll try and do a video on that because it is such a weird size. I just need to find a good location to film it because this is such a huge piece. Um, I don't want to take up that much more of your time. I got so excited when I got this finished. Let me show you other areas here. I know you kind of already saw this one, but we'll show it to you again so you can see the whole thing as it goes together. Um, so I got so excited when I got done with this because this is the last piece that I have kitted up from my huge kit up kit down sessions that I do and so I've been planning my next kit up kit down session that I got so excited that I just immediately started kitting down with all of my other square drills that I had collected and then I realized oh my goodness I haven't complete I haven't filmed my uh, post review video and usually I show how many drills are left and etc well okay Suffice it to say, I did not run out of any drills and I um, had plenty and plenty to work with. So I hope that you don't mind missing that part, but I didn't run out of any drills. However, I did save the ABs to show you as well as the um, amount of trash drills that I had. So we'll center those guys again. I'm trying to talk fast because I feel like this entire video has gotten very, very long and I don't want to take up that much more of your time. So you'll have to let me know, do you like this format or not? Would you rather just see the completed piece and hear my thoughts on it? Or did you enjoy kind of getting to see the process as it went along? I tried to cut down the original videos, but for whatever reason, I talked slow and I took a really long time and it doesn't make sense if I, unless I just cut out entire sections. All right, let's start with the ABs. So we have the green AB at number 100, and we have a decent amount of that left. Then we have our red, number 114, a smaller amount of that left, but still, drills are left. The yellow AB, number 129, and there was quite a bit on the canvas, so we do have quite a bit more of that one. And then there wasn't a whole lot of 141, which is kind of nice. And so we just have a little bit of that to save. And then we had our fairy dust Z3856. And because there was so much of this, this entire container was full. I do have quite a bit of this left and it was also used for those words and I did not use it on the words. So I have a lot of it left for that reason as well. So when we start by looking over on this side, we have ABs in the background. We have yellow ABs, white ABs, green ABs, yellow ABs. Just really, they're all over in the background. Then we have a lot of the red ABs within these signs to highlight those areas. And then we have the green ABs here, yellow ABs here as well as the fairy dust in this area and yellow AB. Lots of yellow AB and fairy dust here. So here's the yellow AB, and then these lines here are the fairy dust. So this is that huge color blocked section that I talked about. The fairy dust is in this part of the map. This is the red AB and the yellow fairy dust. We have red AB in her glasses, a little bit of the yellow there. We have some of the yellow in her hat, and that flower. And then this is a large patch of the fairy dust. This is a large patch of the fairy dust as well in this light section down here. And as I pointed out earlier, there is one white AB in her ring and one white AB in his. There is more fairy dust going behind his hat and in these background patches here, a little bit of the white AB there. There is some in his glasses and then we have some of the red in his hat. We have a lot of the yellow AB back here and the fairy dust in the background area there and the background area here as well as that branch. This is a large patch of the fairy dust here as well. 
and a little bit of the yellow and white ABs there. And then within the sign, we have ABs here. This looks like the white AB. And this is the fairy dust and the BIR of this sign, but the rest of it is not anything. These are little patches of green and yellow and white fairy dust down there. And we have little patches of white here and yellow and yellow and just a little bit of sparkliness within the greenery over there. So now that we have looked at all where all of the ABs are, I do want to show you where the trash ended up at. So again, I gave myself this amount of size for trash and I needed two containers. So um, this one you can tell is filled to the brim and then this one is just starting off. Um, so I was actually kind of pleasantly surprised. This does seem like a lot, but again, there's 112,000 drills on this and I do tend to be overly picky sometimes. I was pleasantly surprised with 310 and 3371. Although 310 definitely did have trash, it was not the trashiest 310 that I have ever had. But it was still one that I always had to pick through, but it definitely could have been worse. 3371, that dark, dark brown, I have had issues with on most canvases that I ever have that color. This one, did not have issues with 3371 at all. There wasn't a whole lot of it, but there was a decent amount of it. And so it was very nice and a pleasant surprise when I got that out, that it was way better than most of the 3371 I usually have. Um, then the other colors that were predo most predominant on this canvas were all of the greens, of course, for the background and the leaves and everything, as well as the birds, the same colors that are in the greenery on the edges are within the birds themselves. And so those were 934, 935, 936, 937, 939. Um, so they are, are all very, very similar shades. 934 and 935 were surprisingly better than the other ones. I had significant issues with 936 and 937. 937 was kind of half and half. Sometimes it seemed okay and sometimes it wasn't okay. So maybe it just depended on the bag. I don't know. And then 939, I also had significant issues with. But 934 and 5 were a bit better. So if I show you some of my trash, you can see that most of it is going to be those darker colors. But we still have extra tabs like on this AB right there, there is just a little bit of a tab hanging off. There is a tab on this one. There's some extra trash there, a tab here, a tab there. Lots of them just had these extra tabs. I hope that this is focusing and I am not shaking too much. Focus, focus. So there is an extra tab on this purple one if you can see that. And then these green ones, it's really hard to see, especially in the camera. I'm trying to get it to focus, but there was a lot of times just a little bit of extra plastic surrounding them that made them not lie nicely next to each other. There were also every once in a while ones that had bubbles in them that I had to take out. You can just see how misshapen this one is as well as the ones next to it. Here's one of those that has just a bubble in it and I don't like those if I can see it, as well as this one here has a bubble on it. If I can catch those, I like to pull them off. So those are the types of things that I am pulling out. I'm not sure if you can see all the extra plastic around this piece or not. But, um, and this one is one of those light colors that you can maybe see that extra tab on over here. You can definitely see the tab on this one, it looks like. So, so 
so tabs were the majority of the issue just those extra bits of plastic but i also still had issues um with just misshapen pieces and things like that as well so it was primarily those dark colors and those green colors that i mentioned but that always tends to be the case usually the lighter colors are better they are definitely not perfect but they tend to be better so this is absolutely a beautiful piece i love it love it love it um since i am able to kind of show you the entire thing by sliding it across and back i will not do a pan over let me know if you miss it um but i will insert a picture of the entire thing here at the end so that you can see what it looks like when you can actually view the entire canvas um This is my fourth completed Richard Lorenz. I need to count how many there are, but I know there's like well over 16 or so now. Um, so I have a lot more to do and to add to my wall. And this is going to be a huge one for that collection. But I, I love it. Just absolutely love it. And please let me know, what do you think of this format of showing you the post review? It's definitely a longer video than I thought that it would be, but it is also a large canvas. And so I was trying to show you in sections and in order to do that, as well as to tell you about the things that I was doing, the whole point of doing it in those sections, it took me a while for each video. So let me know. Do you like this format? Would you prefer it to just be the post review only and not the steps along the way? you please please let me know so i i know which method to use in the future so let me know what you think let me know what you think of the canvas and the these beautiful birds in my opinion um let me know what you think of the format of doing a post review in this manner and hopefully you enjoyed it at least enough to give it a like and if you would like to see more of my content please be sure to subscribe and of course as always leave any of your questions or comments in the comment section below i really do appreciate hearing what it is that you have to say um so comments are always welcome and appreciated that is going to be it i hope you all have a most wonderful fabulous day thank you for joining me along this journey of completing lost with you by richard lorenz all right have a wonderful day everybody bye bye